Bajari, Gamarua, Gamarada, Gadigal. These words translate in the local Gadigal language to G'day, comrades, friends. My name is Nathan Moran. I'm the CEO at Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Land Council. I'm a Biripai and Thungadi Guri, but it's a great honour and privilege today to open the 2020 Head On Photo Festival. I'd also like to acknowledge the great value and certainly benefits that First Nations and or Aboriginal people place on cultural activities, such as what's going to be occurring over the next couple of weeks with the Head On Photo Festival. We look forward to seeing all the deadly Australian talent of images, photos, artworks, allowing us to dis not just display it locally now, but in fact, acting as a bridge right across the globe, the Head On Photo Festival is one of the deadliest things that certainly our community can share, realise, show off, and just be deadly, I suppose. But for all you fellas who are involved, I'd like to acknowledge the awesome work that you do in the art sector. I'd like to acknowledge Mosh and Arnie Barb for organising me today to open the festival. May you all have a deadly couple of weeks, enjoying all the deadly Australian talents and hopefully more international talents as well. Bajuri Gamarua to you all. May you all have a deadly head on festival. Good evening. Hi, welcome to the opening of the Head On Photo Festival for 2020. If you don't know me, my name is Dosha Ginsberg. Uh, normally I'm counting roses in a very whispery voice, but uh, tonight uh, coming to you from lockdown, I'm very grateful to be a part of the opening of uh, Head On for 2020. For those of you who are here for the very first time, this is actually the 17th Head On Photo Awards and the 11th Head On Photo Festival. Of course, while we're on air tonight, uh, you can, of course, interact via the chat box and, of course, all our social media profiles. The hashtag is Head On Photo Festival. We're really grateful that you can join us from wherever you are around the world because this year is an extra special one. As far as we know, Head On is the only festival of its kind that is still going ahead in Sydney and one of the very few photo festivals that's going ahead globally, despite the challenging conditions that we are living under this incredible time in human history, the Head On Photo Festival will, for the first time ever, be shown online and on demand from now until the 17th of May. And this is possible because of the incredible passion and dedication of the extraordinary team that run Head On and, of course, the magnificent photographers who contribute their work today. And together, they have put their hearts into creating 110 amazing exhibitions for this year's festival, submitting awards and working to present for the very first time 80 exciting online talks and workshops. There's a lot to go, there's a lot to happen in this festival. Now, usually on any other given year, thousands of people would be getting together in person for this opening night. There'd be champagne glasses clinking, there'd be a DJ playing, but uh, no, uh, just, a, just the smell of hand sanitizer, just like it is at your place. But nothing is going to stop us celebrating this festival and the incredibly talented and hardworking people who make it happen. In just a few moments, we are actually going to find out who has won some of Australia's most prestigious photography awards. But very first, the first thing we have to do is uh, speak to a powerhouse of a human being, a man that has worked, I think he's probably slept about 47 minutes in the last week to make, this was a dream, where we're sitting right now, was a dream six days ago, and he's pulled this whole thing together. Uh, the unstoppable Moshe Rosenzweig, OAM, uh, the artistic director of Head On. How are you today, mate? Are you okay? I'm still awake. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on getting us this far, mate. It's absolutely brilliant. You feeling good about this? Pretty good, yes, yeah. and I'm very glad that you are here. And who would have thought uh, <laughs> just a few days ago when I just 
stop you on the, the on the street. <laughs> I'm grateful you did, man. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's really, really, really good to be here for sure. I never thought when you moved to the neighborhood <laughs> that I would actually call on you at like five minutes to midnight to do that. So I'm it's I really to I really appreciate it. This is fantastic. So look, it has been really challenging for all of us. Um, doesn't matter where we are, anywhere around the world. You know, quite a number of people I know lost friends and family members. I know even more people who lost their jobs. A lot of photographers lost everything, pretty much. And all of us uh, lost the ability to have physical contact with other people. But the good thing from a bad situation is we learn some important lessons. I think the first one, for me at least, was that we can get away with a lot less. We don't need as much as we do usually. And there's uh, another thing that we learn is how important the, having a community around us is. And this is exactly what Head On is all about. So from the very beginning of Head On Portrait Prize, that was quite a long time ago, 17 years ago, in 2004, we have judged without the artists' names. So the works that we select are always only on merit, rather than on the celebrity of the creators. So we celebrate great work, and it comes from everywhere. And we help issues and unheard people to be heard. Photography uh, shines a light on worlds that we can't otherwise access. But in the age of Instagram, photography is everywhere. So festivals like ours have become more than just about showing photos. Head on Photo Festival is a platform for meaningful conversations, a rare chance for photographers to meet and connect with the public. It's a place where careers start and flourish, and new and challenging ideas are debated. We know how much our community looks forward to the festival each year, and we wanted to find a way to go ahead with the festival, in spite of all the you know, difficulties this year. So in March, back in March, when the restrictions uh, unfolded, we thought about how hard the, our community, the contributors, have been working on the shows and submissions, and we wanted to honor them and their work. The head-on team had been already working very hard at that stage, not to mention the superhuman effort since then in the last couple of weeks. So I'd like to say thank you, a big thank you, to the very small and super dedicated team, to Anita Schwartz, Stephen Godfrey, Anna Honen, Paula Broom, and Min Pham. Most of, most, most of you know what a challenge it is normally to put this festival with hundreds of exhibitions and other events. Um, so you will appreciate how ecstatic I am to actually announce the opening of the 2020 Head Online Festival <laughs> and Awards. Amazing. Oh, I see what you did there. Head Online. Nice one, Moshi. Nice one. Uh, it is an extraordinary moment to be here. This is a, a new world we're living in, and uh, I think it shows that you know nothing can really hold us back as a community, uh, whether you're a photographer or not. Um, that we can all we can do it. You know, we can pull it together. We can do it. Now, this festival is usually hosted across three separate council areas, and we're delighted to have three of their representatives join us to say just a few words of welcome. Waverley Council congratulates Head On for continuing to foster photography in these challenging times and for giving photographers the opportunity to raise awareness of important themes through their inspiring photography. The online exhibition is a marvellous way of showcasing our nation's talent on a global scale and I look forward to seeing this year's winning entries. We are a really proud supporter of the Head On Photo Festival and uh, in times like this, it really just reminds us all how important the arts is in our lives. Uh, I really hope that you can all get involved and look at all the entries online um, and make sure you share all of that as well because uh, it's just sharing a bit of beauty and creativity is uh, really so important now um, as we're all sort of faced with these uh, really unique challenges in our lives. We are so very, very proud to once again be able to financially support the Head On Photo Festival. 
we're trying really hard at the City of Sydney to make sure that our cultural grants and program can capture as many of you who potentially fall through the, gra the gaps in terms of financial support. So congratulations so much to Moshe and the team. I fully look forward to seeing what reveals itself in the coming weeks. And again, we'd just like to thank everybody who's involved um, and make sure that you know how much we're thinking of you at this crappy time. big thank you also to the City of Sydney, Willara and Waverley Councils for your ongoing support over the years. So Moshi, if you had to, in, um, in a couple of words, how, how would you sum up this year's festival so far? Well, so far, fingers crossed, it went really well. Yeah. <laughs> um, we didn't have any problem here in the studio yeah, yeah. yet, and I hope nothing will happen. Uh, look, we've got amazing array of shows. We've got yeah. 110 exhibitions. Yeah. We've got 80 events. Everything is online. We've got so many hundreds, thousands of people already uh, registered to participate in these talks. The interesting thing is that it enables us, this, this platform enables for, to talk to people directly. Mm. doesn't matter where they are. So people don't have to be in Sydney. We've got people registered to do workshops with us they are based in the US and in Europe. So it's quite fantastic, really exciting. I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm guessing that takes the festival to, like it's such an extraordinary challenge, but it takes the festival to a place that you might not have imagined. Ah, oh, yeah, oh, absolutely. Who would have thought two weeks ago this is going to happen? You know, it's just amazing. Well, I certainly hope that'll bring it, uh, you know, even more strength going forward. If you had, if you had to pick um, 110 workshops, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. What, what do you think the, the big hits, the big highlights might be? Look, this is a bit difficult because um, it's like asking who do you like better, your, your mother or your father. So uh, we've got a whole lot of kids there and, you know. Look, they're, they're beautiful shows. I would probably pick, if I had to pick a couple, I would say the Paper Tigers, which is a selection of work by 60 Australian photojournalists. Mm -hmm. I think this is phenomenal body of work that shows uh, what is happening, what has been happening in Australia in the last 40 years or so. Mm -hmm. From everywhere, it's starting with sport and lifestyle and celebrity and really hard stuff, you know, photojournalism. And what about uh, like kind of workshops and talks that people might be interested in? What are you excited about? Um, look, the talks that we do, panel talks, are really very interesting. We've got uh, uh, one session about um, why people are fascinated with looking at images of disaster, for example, and how photographers deal with, with the trauma that is associated with it. But we've got also very practical, many practical sessions. We, we collaborate uh, with Adobe this year, and we've got fantastic workshops which are very 
hands-on how to use Photoshop and a whole lot of other things. We've got workshops on how to light, how to do better portraiture, and it's good for people from all the way from being super professionals to people who just want to know how to use the phone better. I mean, I've got, as you know, we've got a, a new baby in the house and I have a, <laughs> I have a dehumidifier fridge with, I won't say how many thousands of dollars worth of cameras in it. The, the, the camera I take most photos of my kid on is my phone. You know, I've got that much glass in my house, but the phone's there. You know, so knowing how to use that to its best capability is something I'm, I'm most definitely interested in. Uh, look, the awards announcements are very quickly approaching, but before we get to the moment that many people are waiting for, there's a lot of people sitting on a humongous Zoom call uh, waiting to be told if they've, uh, they've won something. Uh, a night like this, a moment like this could never have happened without some incredible, incredible sponsors. Obviously, Moshe, you have a great relationship with the sponsors that brought the festival this far, and um, certainly some sponsors have helped you out a lot this year. So we get uh, support from our commercial sponsor and a lot of government uh, organizations. I would like to especially acknowledge here the support of uh, Create New South Wales and the city of Sydney, and our major sponsor, Sony. The uh, multitude of partners you can see behind uh, on the screen is phenomenal and I want also to acknowledge the support of the Willara Council and the Waverley Council as well. Thank you all for standing with us, by us, uh, this year. It was quite a demanding year for everyone and I really appreciate that uh, all of you remain with us and did not ask for your money back just because the festival is now going to be online. Our major sponsor, Sony, uh, is, is here just to say a few words uh, as well. Sony is thrilled to once again be a major sponsor for Head On in 2020. As a manufacturer of cameras and lenses, we know that even a 61 megapixel sensor or groundbreaking lens designs or best-in-class autofocus is not going to help you if you don't have a flourishing and vibrant photography community. Head On shines a brilliant light on the local community in Australia every year and Sony could not be more happy to be helping make that light shine a little bit brighter. I do want to thank everyone for tuning into the stream. Photography is special because it lets us be in a different time and place and we think that there's a special value to that right now. So we're really looking forward to the festival and we hope you are too and we're going to leave you to it. All the best. Right, on to the awards. So. The Student Award is the opportunity to showcase the work of the next generation of photographers. Every single year, we receive thousands of impressive submissions from primary and high school students from right around Australia. Now, there is a chance to win some of these extraordinary prizes. Uh, we just saw from our major sponsor there, Sony, that they've uh, given us some extraordinary cameras to work with uh, in, this, uh, in this category. So let's have a look at the finalists, and then we will hear from one of the judges, Charles McKean, to tell us more. I've been associated with the uh, Head On Festival for all of its life and uh, this year I helped judge the student prize and what a great uh, job that was. The images that uh, me and the other judges saw were fabulous. There were some jarring images, some bright images, some soft images and uh, lovely thoughts, very professional. Uh, the way we do it is we go through every image and we give it a, a star or two and those with the most stars make it to the next round. Then we do the same again and again. We do three or four rounds until we get down to about 50 images, at which stage we really start the honest argy-bargy discussions. I think we've done a great job this year. Uh, I love the images that are the finalists, particularly like the winning image, of course, and uh, I think you will too. Let's have a great head on 2020. 
So here's how we will present the awards for the evening. We will announce third place, second place, and then the winner, and that's how we're going to do it tonight. So the third place winner in this category is Lewis Dobbin. Well done, Lewis. Great work, mate. Congratulations, buddy. Perfect picture. Well done. And the second place winner is Alice Tasker. <laughs> well done, Alice. Yes, you just get a second place. Well done, Alice. Second place. Top work, Alice. Well done. You did so well. Congratulations, Alice. And the winner of the 2020 Head On Student Award is Joel Parkinson. Well done, Joel. Hey, Joel, you won. Congratulations, mate. Oh, my gosh. That was so unexpected. Well, thank you so much. This is amazing. We, we just talked before about uh, the wonderful light you've got behind you. We said this must be a photographer. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, it, is it something you're planning to do when you finish school? Yeah, next year I plan to study a Bachelor of Fine Arts. Ah, oh, fantastic. Where, whereabouts? In Sydney? Um, I'm not sure yet. So tell us a, bit, a little bit about the picture that you took. Who is, who is in the picture there? Is it self-portrait or is it someone there? Yeah, so this is a self-portrait um, that depicts my own like coming of age. It illustrates the last vestiges of my innocence and the ever-growing maturity and the individuality before the arrival of adulthood. Fantastic. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Well done. Thank you so much. Uh, magnificent work, Joel. Congra congratulations. I, I guess, you know, when you're, uh, when you're an up-and-coming photographer, the, the model you have most access to is yourself. So you end up taking a lot of, of self-portraits. What an extraordinary piece of work. And what ex incredible standards uh, in that category. We have a, a great future to look forward to. So the next category is the landscape category. And this category celebrates the insight and impact that great photographers bring to the places and the spaces uh, around us, giving us new ways to look at the world. We receive thousands of entries from Australia and internationally. Here are some of the fantastic prizes up for grabs. My name is Carla Erdmann. I'm joining you from Hamburg, Germany, and um, I'm a writer, a photo critic, and a freelance editor of Leica Photo Photography International magazine. And I was asked to be in the jury of this year's uh, landscape exhibition. I was very honored, and I'm looking forward to all the discussions with you about um, selecting images and why some images are maybe more attractive than others. Um, to me, what I can say about that, um, the, the selection process, is uh, a picture has to have a narrative, a certain way of, 
um, capturing either a moment of everyday life or the wonder of nature, whatever, and maybe use an interesting style or a technique um, to accelerate what photography can be, namely painting with light. So the most important thing to me is to have a narrative and to make a story out of that. And um, yeah, I will explain that and happy to hear your opinions as well. I'm looking forward to the discussion. See you, bye. So, the Australian runner-up in this category, Nick Moyer. Well, live. well done, Nick. Oh, no, that's not The international runner-up is Paul Carruthers. Well done, Paul. Thanks for joining us from the UK, mate. Well done. And the winner of the 2020 Head On Landscape Award is Marsha McMillan. Yes! Yes! Wow. You won! <laughs> Marsha, congratulations! Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, um, Monsieur, and thank you, Osu, as well. Um, thank you to all the sponsors, and thank you to Head On, the organisers, and the tireless effort to bring this online. And um, that's just, I, I'm really shocked. We're very shocked. <laughs> we just we were looking at the photos earlier today, and we all picked what we thought, and we agreed that there is the, the pictures are just phenomenal and all the entries they are all winners they're just mind-blowing and we really didn't think ours sort of chance and um so thank you thank you to everyone for giving us this platform and this opportunity hey marcia just one question to ask you um i were you affected really badly by the drought it incredibly affected yes my husband would be able to explain more but that picture really does capture what we were living through daily we were experiencing those dust storms uh that was the second for that day we actually had three that day um some last for hours at a time where it's really hard to see outside because it was so dark um others just lingered all day where uh, visibility wasn't so bad, but as far as the drought itself went, just there was nothing at all in the paddocks. The, even the natural wildlife was suffering, the kangaroos and uh, emus, everything. Everything was just really, really suffering. And there were several images that we could have entered, um, and it was just on a whim that I chose that one. Um, yeah, no, there was, there was lots of devastation. Um, but now we have rain, and it's um, and it's wonderful that uh, fantastic. Yes, that, that we're able to enjoy the benefits of the rain. Could you tell us just a little bit about the moment or the, the minute before? Because obviously, time is critical. You know the kind of shot in your head that you want. What what was happening like in the, in the like the sixty seconds before you hit the shutter? Ah, uh, there wasn't sixty seconds before the shutter, and I don't want to. Um, I really, I, I really um, have so much admiration for photographers and their artistic work, which is, I'm not a photographer, I'm a school teacher and this was during the school holidays and we were literally just on our way walking sort of back towards the house and these had become so normal and there wasn't 60 seconds, it was just a flash. Um, I might get a shot. And I've got a couple uh, of a daughter running um, across the paddocks. And uh, so there really was no um, choreographing or staging. It definitely was. And um, I know so many brilliant photos have been curated. Um, this, this wasn't, this really was just one of those moments captured at, at, at that moment. Um, and it was just a, it really was just a, a fluke. And I'm really grateful that, um, yeah, that it, that it worked out and that we can actually, there's that little silver lining in all these dust storms and months of cleaning and... <laughs> 
Well, so you, were, on, so you, on. you were the right person in the right place at the right time with the right vision and it absolutely paid off. Congratulations. Well done. A very, very deserving winner. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we really, really appreciate no, you letting us into your home this evening. Um, look, the Head On Portrait Award is our final prize for the night. Uh, this year, the prize is sponsored by Fujifilm. And uh, I'll welcome uh, Will. Uh, you're going to have to help me with Will's surname here. Um, An Anelzak, I think. Will Anelzak. <laughs> I'm going to welcome Will Anelzak to say just a few words. Head on Photo Festival. From everyone at Fujifilm Australia, we want to say a huge thank you for giving us something to do on our Friday night. Fujifilm is so proud to be part of Head On Again and support our Australian and international creative community through what has been a pretty average seven months. Thank you to all the other brands and supporters of Head On Photo Festival. How amazing is it that we get to have such a large scale event for photographers right here in Sydney? Congratulations to all this year's winners. I cannot wait to see all the incredible work you have created. Moshe, if you'd be so kind, could you uh, take us through the, the judging process? Obviously, it's not something you take lightly. Well, we developed a system, actually. It took us a long time and a lot of money to build an online judging system. The system removes the name totally from, so the judges cannot see who took the picture. And that has been going since the very beginning of uh, the head-on in 2004. At the beginning, it was on paper. We just put the pictures with no names, and now it's online, obviously. We send it to the, to the judges, the judges look at the pictures, they mark them, whether they like them or don't like them. And then we get together, we do sort of a, a meeting, Zoom meeting, online meeting. And we, we, this year we had judges from all around the world. We had from the US, from Germany, from, from Australia, from different parts of pretty much everywhere. And then we sit and go through the images as they kind of rated. So the top images, uh, we start looking at those and we put them in, the, in one pile and then remove them and move and in and out and in and out and then there's a little bit of argy bargy and you know kind of tr basically working through the process uh, because we've got very diverse range of uh, judges so yeah. we've got judges that are photojournalists background of photojournalism we've got uh, people who are fine art photographers they are kind of picture editors they are galleries so each one bring a little bit of a different perspective to, the, to how they look at the work. But the most important thing about the work that we judge is really about the engagement with the audience. Or whether, as, as a judge, you look at it and you want to say, I love this picture because I feel something inside. So that's sort of the, guiding, the, the guidance that I give to the judges. And as a result, we usually get very, very strong images. Obviously, the images need to be also good technically and hopefully have some merit beyond that, like intellectual sort of rigor there that, that goes into it. But that's really basically the, the system, the, how it works. Well, obviously, as someone, someone who would be uh, submitting would want to know that their image is being uh, you know, held against another one for comparison and, and being treated with, with dignity and respect and uh, not allowing someone's, as you mentioned, someone's name or celebrity or gender even uh, to inf you know, bias the, the, the judge's opinion. So that's an extraordinary thing that, that you've, you've pulled together. The, um, the Head On Portrait Award has actually been running for 17 years and is known in many places for, for pushing the boundaries of portraiture. The winners of this category will receive the, these incredible, incredible prizes.
So this is it, the head-on portrait award. It's the, uh, this is a big one. The Australian runner-up for the head-on portrait award is John Frank. The international runner-up, the international runner-up for the head-on portrait award is Juk Oosterhof from the Netherlands. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well done, York. Well done, well done, well done. Congratulations. Congratulations, right. Well done, well done, well done. And the winner, the winner of the 2020 Head On Portrait Award is Fiona Wolf. Yes, you. Congratulations, Fiona. Yes, you won. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Marte. Good to see you again. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed with the T-shirt, by the way. Yay, go head on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, thank you so much. This means so much to me. It's incredible. Thank you. Who would have believed uh, 10 years ago when you helped us hang the, the show uh, at the ACP? I know, and it was always my biggest goal to to be with Head On and look, I've been lucky to, to be part of Head On a couple of times, but that I've done this now is just amazing with an image that is very, 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 very close to my heart and very important. So it's, uh, it's a great honor. Thank do you. you. Do, you want, do you want to tell us a little bit about the picture? What's in the image? Sure, well, the image is called The Gift. Um, I have a wonderful friend, Madeline, and she called me um, last year and said, look, Fiona, would you like to photograph my XXX? And I said, oh, what's happening? And she said, well, <laughs> I'm giving birth. I'm a surrogate mother um, to this wonderful couple. And I would like you to photograph and um, be there for the birth. And it was the first opportunity for me ever to photograph the birth. And um, it was amazing. And look, I got in half an hour before the baby was delivered. There was no time. Um, Madeline is an amazing mother of two, and um, she did a fantastic job at this birth. <laughs> and it was a great opportunity for me to see a birth from a different perspective as well. Fiona, magnificent work. Congratulations. Uh, what a picture. <laughs> what an image. Uh, oh, obviously, you. a lot of hard work went into, uh, went into your ability before you got to that moment, but it all paid off. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. That's well done. Amazing. Well done. Bye bye. Big thank you once yes. again to uh, all of our sponsors and our supporters, and and most importantly, uh, the incredible head on team that has put all of this together. Uh, this was, like I said, this was nothing six, six days ago, and now we're here. So it really is really something. Thanks to our collaborators, the advisory board, uh, everyone, uh, everyone who's a part of it. You're all our family. You're all our community. It means so much to us that you're with us here tonight and very much uh, for the festival in the coming weeks. We're grateful you're a part of it. Uh, but right now, you can interact uh, with each other via our social media hashtag, Head on Photo Festival. As Moshi mentioned, it's all about community, uh, this photography community in Australia and right around the world. Um, thanks very much for, for having me here. Um, I'm, I'm grateful that I can be a part of this. Uh, it's been great. And um, yeah, it's been great. Moshi, have you had a good time? I had a wonderful time. Yeah. Yes, I forgot the days of television. And I usually <laughs> used to be the other side of the camera. So it oh, was really? quite an interesting experience. Yes. Well, here you are. You do great. You do brilliant. Was there anything else you wanted to say? No, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, everyone in, joined us. I think we had quite a thousand, few thousand people uh, tuning in. And I'm looking forward to interacting with everyone on, in the next uh, couple of weeks, doing the workshops and the seminars and whatever, all the talks that we, we are going to have. Uh, so I think people should go and, and book themselves in. It's all free, by the way. Extraordinary. What an extraordinary resource that you put out there, particularly in this time. You've really got no excuse. <laughs> you've really got no excuse. Uh, you've got that camera. You may as well use it. Over the next week, we have 110 incredible exhibitions, 80 talks, workshops, webinars, all of which are free uh, to attend. As Moshe mentioned, just sign up headon.com 
www.mosha.com.au. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much to all the crew who worked out. Mosha and I are the only people here not wearing gloves and masks. So thanks very much to everybody uh, who worked on this, uh, this episode tonight to, to make sure it was safe for everyone. Uh, good night wherever you are. Um, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Be kind. And uh, we'll see you soon. Good night. Thanks for watching. Sonny.